welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew Drew, um, as of last video, butthead. Um, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about one of my top 10 favorite companies, possibly a top five, more than likely. That is going to be Jolly Old Fat Man. And as you can see, these labels are freaking killer. Um, Jolly Old Fat Man is owned by a man that we call Bam. His real name is Brian. He is out of Georgia. Go dogs. Um, he is a freaking awesome guy. I've actually had the privilege of being a friend of his, um, especially over the last couple months. We have talked more and more each day. Um, I've started going live with him. Um, he's just a really stand up, straightforward, honest, good hearted man. Um, I found out yesterday, actually, he is a giant. Um, this guy's like, I'm 6'4", 220. He's like 6'4", to 6'5", 300 pounds. He's a big man. He's a monster. So that was pretty cool to find out. I love finding out, you know, anything I can about uh, companies and owners that I respect, look up to, and support. Um, but I just thought that was kind of cool. He's a Santa, but he is a giant Santa. So don't mess with Bam, I'm telling you. Um, anyways, um, I started using this company just a few months ago, actually, and was blown away with the quality of products. I was blown away with the fill and beard and I was blown away with his scents. His scents are not a normal, a normal line of scents. He puts his Santa twist on them, as he likes to say, and he makes something that you would never think of possible and makes it really freaking well um for uh well, well we'll get to that in a minute he has one ounce oils this one is the bam scent obviously it's his scent i guess you would say this one is a watermelon scent and it smells like a freaking watermelon jolly rancher um it is so good it really is um it doesn't have that fake watermelony, you know, bullcrap scent, but it doesn't smell like a real, you know, legit fruit. Like, you, like if you were eating a watermelon, it smells just like a Jolly Rancher to me. Now you get one ounce oils with the amazing, beautiful artwork. It does have a plastic um, shrink wrap kind of style thing to keep, you know, from ruining the labels. Um, I believe he has switched over to maybe, a clear, I think, clear frosted bottles, I believe, for his newer stuff. I think. Don't hold me to that. You can get this one ounce oil for $15.75. Now, BAM does not do discount codes, affiliate codes, and all that stuff because he keeps his price, prices low enough that, you know, he doesn't really have to offer a discount code because his prices are already average, in my opinion. They're right there in the ad market average and... With companies coming out now and different companies raising their prices, fifteen seventy five is a super cheap price. It really is, um, and you get your money's worth out of his products. His stuff goes a long way. Um, on average, I use three quarters to a full dropper. With his stuff, I can use half to three quarters of a dropper, depending on if I'm going outside in the heat and going to be sweating all day. Um, I do tend to use the full drop or three quarters of a dropper when I'm going to go outside and know I'm going to be sweating. Now, his ingredients, he does have two different, uh, he's calling them different labels. Uh, he has a black label um, list of ingredients and then he has a white label. The white label he created for his Santas, um, basically men with white beards. And it, it is a, it's a much more basic carrier blend. It's like coconut oil, maybe jojoba or something like that. I can't remember the exact one because I've personally not ever bought the white label. I've always bought the black label. Um, and that is the one I highly recommend. Um, he is kind of working on a new white label, um, carrier blend that's a, has a few more things in it. Um, I actually had the privilege of getting one of the testers for those. And so far, I'm really liking it. Um, the ingredients on his black label is uh, are meadow foam seed oil, apricot kernel oil, sweet almond oil, hemp seed oil, shea olein oil, BTMS 50, and fragrance oil. Now, I don't know, a lot of people, I don't know if they're scared of trying something new or, you know, what it is. 
or if it's because some of the big reviewers haven't reviewed it yet, but you definitely want to give this guy or give his stuff a try. It is a serious, you, you won't stop buying from it after you buy once. I guarantee that. But the BTM S50 is derived, I believe, from the rapeseed plant, if I'm, I believe I'm right on that. And it is a really awesome conditioning agent. It puts a layer of, you know, in your beard. It kind of like coats the hair and it wraps it and just keeps it everything in there. So I'm trying to get my brain to work here this morning. But it wraps up everything and keeps it in your beard and such an amazing thing. It does not create a buildup in your hair. Every time you wash it, the stuff comes right out like like it's nothing. Just like every other oil, it just washes right out really nice and clean, does not leave any residue. And with this oil, compared to all the other oils that I have, is the best for summertime. 1000%, especially when you mix it with his hybrid. Um, there's something about his mix. He has that little bit of wax in there. And then that BTMS, it coats the hair. It keeps all the you know, sun. It keeps all the heat and everything. It adds that extra layer of protection and keeps your hair soft all freaking day. Um, his scent duration on his oils and even his hybrids also, which we're going to get into in a moment. But his scent duration is an all-day scent. There may be a couple of them that kind of fade off around that six-hour mark. But six hours and up is basically what I personally personally look for when it comes to scent duration. And he kills it with those. I am going to go over a few of my favorite scents from Bam. Um, I have... I have a pretty decent little collection of his uh, oils, and then I have, I think, three or four of his uh, hybrids. But this one is one of my favorites, the um, the watermelon. I, I'm basically calling it a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It is so freaking bright, fresh, crisp, and it's just like you've been eating a watermelon Jolly Rancher, and you can smell your own breath all day long. Um, I've noticed the women like that scent. Um, other people are like, Hey, you know, let me get a piece of candy. And I'm like, I'm not eating candy. It's my beard oil. Another good one. And I hate to give this, I don't even want to show this guy's face. No, I'm just playing. Um, another one of my favorites is the Queen's Jester, Jester, that is uh, Bearded Life Joe. He did a collab with, um, the Jolly Old Man himself. And this one is a oud, sandalwood, and, or no, 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 sorry, got my sense mixed up. This is an oud and cotton candy. And yeah, that doesn't sound like it would go together, but it does, and it does it really well. Honestly, and actually this is what I just put in a few minutes ago before I did this video, it reminds me of a birchwood oud a lot, but it's not a birchwood oud. It's birchwood and, or it's oud and cotton candy. And it's kind of, it's kind of like the, like I'm saying, it's like the birchwood oud, but with a sweetness that you can't get from that birchwood oud. And it is freaking amazing. This is one of my other favorite ones. I also have it in the hybrid. And his hybrids are freaking phenomenal. They come in these, I believe they're two ounce metal tins screw top. As you can see, I've used a pretty good amount of it. <laughs> um, a little goes a long way with his hybrids. Um, and like I was saying about the heat, if you add a little bit of this stuff to your beard before you head out to and during the day, you will not experience any dry beard. You will not experience any breakage. Your beard is going to be almost the exact same as when you left the house. It is phenomenal. It is amazing. Um, I teamed up with Bam just uh, recently and did a giveaway, and it's because I want to get his name out there. His stuff is phenomenal, and I really hope that some of you guys will try it. It is, it's mind-blowing how soft and nourished my beard feels when I use Jolly Old Fat Man. Uh, there's been quite a few other reviewers talking about how it's a top 10, top 5, and it truly is. But his hybrids are not a butter. And they're not a balm. Obviously, they're a hybrid of both. It has that conditioning, um, moisturizing effect to it. And then it also has a nice slight hold from that small amount of beeswax. And I also believe the BTMS 50 does have some holding power to it, in my opinion. Um, 
But again, this is the Queen's Jester. And the ingredients on this are BTMS 25, which is that conditioning agent. Um, it just does such a freaking phenomenal job. Mango butter, shea butter, jojoba oil, grape seed oil, hemp seed oil, which is, I love hemp seed oil, uh, apricot kernel oil, beeswax, and then your fragrance oil. And this stuff is super freaking smooth. It is just, it's almost like a tin of satin or something. I mean, it's hard to describe. It's so easy to come out. I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to take about half of that away, and I'll show you how it melts down. All right, so I'm just going to use just a little bit. Gone. Like, it's instantly gone. It's It just melts down so good. It's so creamy, and just, you can even feel it in your hands. It is like one of the silkiest, smoothest feeling things that is out there in the beard product game to date. Let me wipe my hands off real quick. Alright, the next scent that I want to talk about is a freaking mind blower, and that is actually from Joe's daughter, Sammy, and this is the Sammy Cakes. This is the Queen of Beards, that's the name of the scent, is the Queen of Beards. The artwork on this, again, is just phenomenal, there's like snowflakes and stuff in the background. And then a picture of Sammy with the um, artwork done over her face. And it is just a beautiful, beautiful label. This one is a blueberry cotton candy. And what I get out of the bottle is blueberry cotton candy, of course. This one is so, so sweet, so smooth. You get that cotton candy and it is just phenomenal. Um, I actually try to baby this one as much as possible. Um, because it's so good and I don't want to lose it. Also, it's because he does not make this one right now anymore. And I want to baby the ones that he doesn't use as much because I like to see them on my shelf and I like to still be able to use them. So I kind of baby those. I have a, two or three of them that I'm kind of babying until I find out he may release it again. Now, with his hybrids, you can get his hybrids for $16.75. So an oil for $15.75 plus shipping, which is his shipping's super cheap. And then his hybrids are $16.75 for a two ounce. And the oils, of course, are one ounce. Another great and amazing one that I just recently found out about is this little fella. This is called Meli Kaliki Maka. I believe that's Hawaiian for Christmas or something like that. And I mean, again, just look at the freaking artwork on these bottles. It is amazing. About dropped it. This one, I don't know the exact scent profile. I did not do full research on it. I never do on all my videos when it comes to scent profiles. I go with what I can remember. Um, but with this one, I get... I get some kind of like gingerbread cookie, splash of peppermint, um, mixed with brownie is kind of what I get. It's kind of like a... I get that brownie up first. It smells like a brownie kind of to me. And then I get a little bit of splash of peppermint. I mean, just the smallest splash of peppermint. And then there's that kind of like a gingerbread cookie or gingerbread house or something that just is in the back part of my back part of my mouth, throat, nose, whatever you want to call it. And I honestly, I knew I would like it, but I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. I've been wearing this one actually quite a bit course when you pull the thing out I'm down I'm right at the the label with it and his stuff does come full packed to the brim but this one is amazing Meli Kaliki Maka I highly recommend trying this one now I mentioned oud and sandalwood a few minutes ago with the wrong scent but this is another one of my very top favorites this is his misfit toys this label is a little bit more basic. It has his original, you know, logo style on the front, which I actually like this one a lot. Um, yellow is one of my favorite colors also. And it just looks really amazing on it on my shelf. His labels have that brightness color, that, that happiness to it that is, is Christmas. Now, 
This one, I get the oud and the sandalwood, and that's, I'm not 100% of the rest of the stuff in it, but I get the oud and the sandalwood the most. And then there's some kind of a splash of brightness in it. I'm not sure what it is, but this one is a must have. Um, if, if he has it in stock, grab it now while you can, because you never know when it's either going to be out of stock or if it's going to be discontinued. I highly doubt this one's going to be discontinued because I'm pretty sure it's one of his better sellers. Um, but the Misfits Toys is, this is one of those date night kind of scents. Um, it has that manly cologne-esque scent to it and it is freaking amazing. And I need to get the hybrid in this one. Well, there's quite a few of them I need to get the hybrid too because I don't have all the sets. I have mostly oils, but that's okay. Now, the next three I'm going to show you are my least favorite of the scents that I have. They're still good. They're just not my favorites. The first one is off his cigar series. He has a whole series of scents that are cigar-based scents. This first one is Comet. It is green apple and cigar. It's got a, obviously, the green apple scent, but it has it's more of a candy green apple, which is... I was thinking it was going to be like a fresh apple and cigar. So that's the only part of it that really threw me off. But it's still a great scent. Um, when I first smelled it, I smelled it out of bottle, of course, because I opened it in my truck. I contacted Bam and I was like, you know, I'm just talking about the scent. And he's like, no, I'll put it in beard and it'll open up into something else. And I took his advice. And yes, it opened up into something else that is much smoother than I thought it would be. It is, it's beautiful labeling, and this, again, the scents are always good or amazing. I've not had one that's just nasty or one that I couldn't deal with yet. Another, another one that is, again, not my favorite, but is still a really nice scent is the Vixen. This one is a raspberry chocolate. It is really smooth. It's a real dark scent. You get the... Um, You get that, it's almost a perfect blend of raspberry and chocolate. You get that chocolate just a, a little bit quicker than you do the raspberry, but this one, again, is a really nice scent. And then the last one that I've actually, it's starting to grow on me more, is Dasher. And I believe this one's getting ready to be um, discontinued for a while, um, just because it hasn't been selling as good, this particular scent. This one is a chocolate and cigar, I believe. I can't, don't hold me to that, but, or coffee and cigar, excuse me, coffee and cigar, uh, coffee and chocolate or coffee and cigar, I believe it's coffee and cigar, sorry, I'm uh, stumbling and bumbling here, yeah, it's coffee and cigar, and it is actually a really nice scent, uh, I'm not the biggest coffee fan, uh, for in my beard, I drink coffee, of course, daily, but I do not always want it in my beard, but this one actually is really, really nice and smooth, it's not an overpowering coffee scent. It's not going to blow your head off or give you a headache, but it's really nice and mellow. And it's really, really great for like a Sunday or Saturday morning when you're drinking your coffee, just throw it in. It's an, it's more of a relaxing scent to me. Now, I do not have this in the oil, but this is his number 25. It is a cologne scent. It's a... It's a, it's a real fresh, clean cologne scent. It, it kind of reminds me of a Irish Spring meets Old Spice soap. If they kind of had a baby, that's it. And I actually really like this hybrid or this scent. It, it is a really fresh, clean scent. Um, there are a few days of the month that I like that real fresh, either barbershop scent or a fresh, clean scent. And this is the one I go to when I want that. Now, last and certainly not least, the newest um, item that I've added to my Jolly Old Fat Man collection, and that is Fat Man's Paradise. And as always, he kills it with the labels. They're beautiful. I wish my camera picked it up better than it is. But Fat Man's Paradise consists of strawberry lemonade, mango, and papaya. This is a very bright, fruity, uplifting summer scent. It is freaking amazing. Um, you get the strawberry lemonade first and foremost, and then I'm getting a little bit of that papaya 
I, I'm not catching the mango. Uh, I'm sure it's just that scent that's blended in there, you know, I mean, and it just kind of smooths something out somewhere in there. But I get the strawberry lemonade up front and most, uh, you know, up front. And then I get that little bit of papaya in the back end. And it is so freaking good. Um, I've had this in. I've had it for two days. And I have two or three days. And I've thrown it in, I think, two of the three days. Um, it is just such a freaking amazing uplifting scent. But that's it, guys, for me. Um, if you haven't tried Jolly Old Fat Man, definitely head over to jofmbeard.com. Check out his scents. Check out his hybrids. He does have combos um, most of the time. Um, a lot of like um, his Oh Yeah that's coming up is going to be in the combo section. Um, usually when he releases a new scent, a lot of times he puts it in the combo section so you can get both of them. Um, but as of right now, he, sorry, my cat's jumping up. As of right now, he does not have any combos up on the site. It does not mean he does not have any. Um, but again, the prices are so cheap. You can grab an oil and a hybrid and make your own combo and still save money compared to some other companies. Um, on, a, on a scale of one to 10 flyaways, I give this company a solid 9.5 uh, flyaways. It is an awesome, awesome company. I fully stand behind it. I support Bam and all of his, um, all of his endeavors. Uh, definitely be on the lookout for his new lump of coal. It is a charcoal soap. It is an amazing soap. I did post a picture a while back of me with my face all foamy. That is the lump of coal from Jolly Old Fat Man. It should be hitting the market sometime this weekend or in the first of the week, this coming week. Um, it is a amazing cleansing. It strips your beard of everything that's in it, but it also leaves it soft, nourished. It doesn't leave that stripped, um, dry, crunchy feeling like over clean but it does strip everything out of your beard and it leaves it nice and soft. Um, I actually had a short clip of me washing my beard, but I accidentally deleted it. Sorry, bam. Um, I know I promised I would put it in here, but I will do a future video when I do order me some of the soap. Um, besides that guys, head over to Jolly Old Fat Man. Definitely give him a shot. He has amazing products. The fill and beard is amazing. It truly, truly is. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Hit me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think of my video. Let me know uh, your opinions. Have you tried Jolly Old Fat Man? You know, what was your experience with the company and with BAM? Um, share my video. Let's see how many views we can get. Uh, besides that, guys, I hope you have an amazing, amazing weekend. I appreciate all the support that I've gotten so far, and I will catch you guys later. Much love, guys.